In the tropics, we have our four different areas. It's active tomorrow. Thursday is the peak of hurricane season, September 10th. So let's just dive into these quickly. Here's a little area of disturbed weather. Now we are expecting this to reach the coast of the Carolinas, but probably just as a big messy uh, rainmaker, continuing some rain chances for South Carolina and North Carolina, low chance of development. There's some dry air and just not great upper level pattern right now for that to develop. Here are two tropical storms, Paulette and Renee. Paulette may eventually get close to Bermuda next week and Renee uh, may take that curve to the north a bit earlier. And then here is our next wave that will probably soon be Sally uh, that we'll be talking about in the next several days with a high chance of development. I want to just point out this is our European model showing a completely different setup from what it had yesterday. Yesterday it had things approaching the Caribbean Sea. Now it has them all taking this turn to the north and it has a big trough of low pressure guiding some of these storms out uh, staying in the northern Atlantic. So no threats to the Gulf Coast at this time, but I just want to point out those long range models do tend to change from run to run. So we will keep our eye on them, but at the same time kind of take them with a grain of salt. We'll keep our eye out through the end of September and into October, of course, but thankfully no threats to us at this point. Thanks, Alexander. The countdown is on as the Saints get ready.